Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about Discovery Server, why you might want one, and how to set it up. Discovery Server is a quick little program that runs on a Windows computer that allows you to catalog all of the information for all your NDI sources and destinations in one place and cut down on the network chatter. This helps increase performance. It makes things run a little bit cleaner, especially if you're running large installs. Uh, it's really helpful in that regard. What you will need is a Windows computer. You're gonna need to download the SDK packet. So ndi.tv slash SDK, go to downloads and click on the software um, development package. You're gonna have to give NewTek your uh, information, name, email address, and then they will email you uh, a link for the SDK package, the latest one. Now, uh, they've recently updated it, which is why I wanna do this video today and show you how to make it all happen uh, and also how to work, make it work on a bird dog device. In particular, this is really helpful when we do static networks. I wouldn't use a static network in NDI unless I had a discovery server on it because it really helps coordinate information across the grand scheme of the entire installation. If you're just using a, an empty network, uh, you really need to get a DHCP on there to help with the traffic flow because these are high performance video networks. But if you have to do static, then we really should have a discovery server on there. So once you download it, you're gonna install it. And the way that you get to it, I'm just gonna show you my desktop here, is that you go to the start menu and you scroll down to NDI 5 SDK and we click on SDK files. And here, if anybody from NewTek was watching, this could have been a lot easier if you had included a shortcut in the start menu. But uh, you go to the bin folder, the utilities folder, the 64-bit folder, or 32 if you want, and then discovery services here. So we're gonna double click on discovery service and close this now. All right, so now uh, discovery server is up and running. And discovery server is also running on my local IP address. So you wanna set a static IP address for the computer that's running Discovery Server, okay? So if you don't know how to do that, we have other videos that show how to set up static IP address uh, or YouTube has like a, a thousand of them or more. So how to set a static IP address, we won't cover here, but you need to set a static for the computer that you're gonna run Discovery Server because we don't want it to change. And in particular with static networks. Now, if you're running a DHCP network and you've been a part of the bird dog support discussions long enough, you'll know that you can use the DHCP reservation list and you don't have to set an IP, a static IP on your computer. You can lock it in at the DHCP level, which is way better. But anyway, so we need to have an IP address that's not gonna change for discovery server to work correctly. So I've set a static IP, uh, but I can't remember for the life of me what it was. So I'm gonna open up command prompt and say IP config. And here I find out that it's 192.168.1.100. So, uh, I'm sorry, 111. So I wanna remember that information. And then I wanna to go to the bird dog device that I wanna include into my discovery service network. And I wanna click on system, NDI network settings, go down here to discovery server, change this from 100 to 111, turn on and hit apply. And then I'm gonna to go to dashboard and say restart video. And inside discovery server, it says added source bird dog P100, that's the name of my camera, okay? So I know that my camera is now added to Discovery Service. Now, the thing you have to know about this is, is that only sources and only destinations will be able to talk to each other that are pointed at Discovery Service. So you can't do some and not others. You need to do all of them or none because the decoders, a Flex Out, for example, a Mini, a Studio, whatever you have, is not going to be able to see sources that are pointed at Discovery Service if the destination is not also pointed at the discovery server. So everything needs to be pointed at this IP address. And it's the same process for all of our products to add them to discovery service. So that's how that's done. Now let's just do this one more quick time just to show you the change again. I'm gonna click off, dashboard, restart video. It's gonna reset things here. Oops, did I even turn it off? Apply. And source is now removed. So uh, one of the things you need to know about discovery server, and you just saw that demonstrated was Sometimes discover, like discovery service in and of itself will just run in the background, right? It'll keep listing these listening uh, kind of like, they're not pings, but it's just listening for information coming to this IP address. You can minimize this and run it in the background, but you can also pause it. So by clicking a button, you can pause the information from showing and then it doesn't refresh the screen. So you have to click enter again to get it to then show you the live data. So just be careful about that. Other than that though, it is that easy. NDI network settings, turn it on, put in the correct IP information, hit apply, go to the dashboard and say restart video and make sure it shows up in that list. 
and you're good to go. All right, I hope this has been helpful, and we will see you guys in the next tutorial. Take care.